Yeah, happy World Environmental Day from the dog park, a fitting location to remind ourselves that we are all connected, whether we're on the grass or we're on the sand, getting ready to take a plunge into the ocean. We gotta look out for each other and we gotta clean up after each other. Just ask a dedicated group of local volunteers, some do-gooders who call themselves poo-gooders. And they just got a big boost from a local student who wants to help protect our waters and was inspired by an all too common rite of passage. Lori, I've stepped in dog do, you've stepped in dog do. We've all had that pleasure at one point or another. You wrote about it and now you're taking action. I founded Pooh Gitter in 2020 after publishing this book I did called Oh Pooh, A Cautionary Tale, based on a true dog poo stories. Um, and I never set out to become like the dog poo lady, but where we live, stormwater is a huge issue and uh, dog poo that you leave on the ground actually when it rains it flows into the storm drains directly into the sound of the local wa water bodies um, untreated. One key takeaway that I know King County will want you to know is do not put your dog poo in the compost. Uh, even if you use a compostable dog poo bag it goes into garbage right now and that is just because of the, the facilities don't get hot enough to kill the pathogens. It's a huge problem especially in the Puget Sound area. Stormwater pollution is the number one source of water pollution in this region. You're making sure more people have collection bins and a local student is making sure more people know about it. Don't be like this guy here who just left his dog's doo-doo on the ground. Not only will it be a pain for the unfortunate few who step in it, it's a pain for the health of our Duwamish watershed. Dog poop actually greatly impacts the health of our Duwamish watershed. It just really pollutes it and fills it with diseases and viruses and other stuff like that. Um, it can spread E. coli all through the water and also um, little microorganisms called roundworms, which can breach the human intestine. So it's not only a problem for human health, but it's also a problem for the animals living in the Duwamish River. Help join the movement and know that you did some good to make a happier, healthier community and environment for all of us.